What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Halloween Kills, uh, the sequel to uh, Halloween 2018. Uh, this film takes place shortly after that. Um, this film has some pros and cons to it, if you will. Uh, for one, uh, the slasher scenes are on par, and, uh, you know, uh, it, it gets a little bit more gritty in comparison to the first one. So, they, they kind of go on a little creative side. There's also some Easter eggs in this film. Um, they have some characters that they brought back from the original 1978 Halloween back for this one. So, you get kind of get caught up with uh, Tommy Doyle character and a few other legacy characters uh part of the original 1978 halloween um laurie strode basically gets sent to the hospital and she basically gets sidelined rest of the film uh but yeah it has a crate of slasher scenes when it comes to the execution and stuff like that which that was actually the, the good part of it now, the cons of this film, if you will, is that it has no protagonist whatsoever. Uh, you know, because in Halloween 2018, you know, the protagonist was, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis's Lori Strode and her daughter and, and you know, and granddaughter. You know, those were the, the main characters of the film. Uh, the problem with Halloween 2018 is that it jumps from more than one character to another. You know, it jumps from the sheriff to, uh, Laurie Strode to, uh, Tommy Doyle. <clears throat> and it's like, you don't know <clears throat> whose story that you're following in this film. You don't know whose story it is. And, uh, and, and that's the problem, is that, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't know what direction it wants to go. And then, of course, there's a scene where they make, uh, Michael, like, completely unstoppable. And he ends up taking out, like, a whole entire gang of people all by himself. You know, so, that's another thing that really kind of pissed off fans and whatnot. You know, uh, but, uh, this film had a big anticipation for it when it was coming out. And, I guess you could say... The, the only pros of this film were the slasher scenes themselves. As far as the cons, like I said, it, there's no story. There's no uh, main protagonist. And, you know, it has one of those uh, anticlimactic type of endings and whatnot. I guess they're saving it for, you know, the third one, Halloween Ends. You know, it, this movie came out sometime in October. I don't know if they're still showing it in theaters, but if you have uh, the Peacock TV streaming service, you could watch it on there. And it, it's available to watch on stream on there. Uh, but no, uh, they, they they went with something uh, in, a, in a different direction than the last film. Uh, it's also overly dramatic. It's like an overly dramatic slasher, you know, with a, a bunch of, uh, you know, scenes that... Where Michael's being very creative in that aspect of taking people out. Uh, is it the best one in the series? I would certainly say not. It does include Easter eggs from, I guess, other films in the franchise. Um, but, you know, it, it <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I actually, you know, saved my money and didn't actually go to the theaters to go see this because, yeah, like I said, it could have been a lot better than it actually was. Uh, have you guys seen Halloween Kills? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, would you watch it again? Or are you gonna just wait until it comes out on home video, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, or just wait till it hits, you know? Well, you don't have to worry about, like, hitting Netflix if you just watch it on Peacock, but, uh, same difference. Anyways, uh, you guys give me your uh, thoughts below, and please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys around for the next video. Alright, peace.